Hare Krishna. So welcome to the last verse of the Damodar Ashtakam, the series. Today we will be discussing the eighth verse from the Damodar Ashtakam. Oma Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakal Pataru Vyasya Kripa Sindhu Vyavacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasadigaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna So the eighth verse of Dhamadrashtakam is Namaste Studhamne Suna Dipti Dhamne Tvadi Yodharayata Vishwasya Dhamne Namo Radhikaya Tvadiya Priyaya Namo Nanta Leelaya Devaya Tubhyam So after offering the prayers and after expressing the desire to have Darshan of the Lord, rejecting the liberation, aspiring for having Prima Bhakti, the final verse is being the conclusion, Satyavat Muni is offering Namast, the pranam to the Lord, his paraphernalia, his associates, devotees, his pastimes. This is what is being done in this particular verse. So, this Namaste Stu, Namaste Stu is being applicable to the few things which are being mentioned here. So first of all, Namaste is to Dhamne. Dham is rope. So first and foremost, he is offering his pranam, his namaskar to the rope. Namaste is to Dhamne. Surat Dhipti Dhamne. That rope is actually Surat Dhipti Dhamma. Dhamma means the reservoir. It is the reservoir of the Brahman effulgence. Surat Dhipti means is is Dhipti means effulgence. So Surat Dhipti means the tremendous effulgence, which is Brahma Jyoti. So this rope is actually very brilliantly effulgent. And Satyamuni says, Namaste is to I offer my pranam to this rope which is binding the belly of the Lord. Then, Namaste is to Tvadiya Udhara. I, then I offer my pranam to your belly. Tvadiya, Tva, yours, Udhara. Udhara means belly. So, after offering obeisances to the rope, Satyavat Mani is offering obeisances to the belly of the Lord. And there is a Special characteristics of the bellies mentioned here is uh, Vishwasya Dhamne Namaste is to Dhamne Surati Dhamne Tvadiyo Dharaya Vishwasya Dhamne This belly of yours is Vishwa Vishwa is a whole creation Dhamne is the reservoir In other words, the whole universe has come from your belly We know the universe is created within the lotus stem by Brahma, who himself is born on the lotus flower, which sprouts from the navel of the Lord. So, the navel is part of the belly. And from there, the lotus flower has sprouted and on which Brahma is born and Brahma creates the all, entire universe. So, therefore, the word Vishwasya Dhamne is very appropriate. And then says, uh, Namo Radhikaya. Then it comes to offer obeisances to Srimati Radharani. Namo Radhikaya Tvadiya Priyaya. I offer my obeisances to Srimati Radharani, who is very dear to you. Now, so this actually implies that Srimati Radharani is uh, not only just dear, but the topmost gopi. 
So Satyavat Muni is in one way offering obeisances to all the gopis or specifically to Srimati Radhanani. Namo Radhikaya because, uh, you know, among the devotees, the topmost are considered the gopis. And among the gopis also, the best is Srimati Radhanani, who is very, very dear to Krishna. Tvadiya Priyayaya. She is very dear to Krishna. In fact, no one is as dear to Krishna as Srimati Radharani. And finally, he says, Namo Ananta Leelaya. I offer my namaskar, my pranam unto your unlimited pastimes. So, unlimited pastimes means here refers to the Krishna's pastimes, like which were described in this entire prayer of Damodar Leela. So, just like the Lord performed the Damodar Leela, similarly he performs unlimited transcendental pastimes and specifically like Rasa Leela. Since Radhani's name is mentioned here, so this Ananda Leela also refers to Rasa Leela. But because the custom is that Madhurena Samapteyet, the ending should be always sweet. So Satyavrat Muni doesn't want to bring some controversies because people sometimes misunderstand Krishna's Rasa Leela pastimes. So he is simply mentioning this Ananta Leelaya, your unlimited pastimes. Namo Ananta Leelaya Devaya Tubhyam. I offer my obeisances to you my dear Lord who performs unlimited pastimes. So this whole prayer, such a beautiful prayer of Damodrashtakam is the whole effort was to explain this entire eight verses so that when we chant this prayer in this month of Kartik, we can meditate on the meaning of it and relish and have the prayerful mood to the Lord to derive the maximum benefit of reciting this prayer. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.